my name is Angela Uchibaye and I am with the United States Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard. And we are going to be reviewing the year 2021 and looking forward to the year 2022. So December in Nigeria is usually a period of celebration. There's excitement in the air, but people tend to sit back and reflect about the year from January all the way to December. What would you say are the missions, successes and um, challenges in the year 2021? I believe that we accomplished a great deal in 2021, continuing our strong partnership and efforts to promote a robust economy, a welcoming business environment, enhanced food security, and ever closer security cooperation. We proudly welcomed Secretary of State Blinken's visit to Nigeria when he met with President Buhari, civil society leaders, and Nigeria's tech innovators. He also signed an historic $2.1 billion development assistance agreement, which will build on our joint multi-year effort to promote a healthier, more educated, prosperous, stable, and resilient Nigeria. We also witnessed ever stronger people-to-people -people ties, evidenced by a continued record number of Nigerians attending US-based colleges and universities. Nigeria joined the ranks of the top 10 nations sending students to study in the United States this year. In recognition of the value that Nigerians attach to higher education, our consular sections at Lagos and Abuja prioritize student visas throughout the year, efforts which enabled students and scholars to pursue their academic dreams. When I look back on 2021, I will always cherish welcoming the Super Tucano crew and aircraft to my hometown of Worcester, Massachusetts, as the first six planes began their journey to Nigeria. Their arrival, together with their enhanced communications technology and associated training in the rule of law and human rights, will greatly contribute to a more secure Nigeria. Following President Biden's lead welcoming President Buhari and other world leaders as he hosted the Summit for Democracy, we partnered with the Nigerian Guild of Editors to reach across Nigeria to host town halls in support of freedom of the press and to amplify civil society's important voice. With support from USAID, hundreds of civil society organizations here in Nigeria promote more responsive governance and the advancement of local solutions, such as the mitigation of tensions between farmers and herders. Similarly, our two countries worked to deepen economic ties and achieve sustainable and broad-based economic growth. Our mission continued to promote important scientific and agricultural related advancements in order to increase the yields for important Nigerian staples such as cow pea and cassava. In the entertainment sector, our music and films acted as catalysts for mutual understanding and job growth. United Airlines established an important air route between Lagos and Washington, an important cultural and economic artery. Perhaps our greatest accomplishments and our greatest challenges lie in the global health security field. We celebrate with Nigeria as we get even closer to our goal of controlling the HIV AIDS epidemic. Through the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, PEPFAR, the United States has invested over $6 billion towards this goal. In this past year alone, more than 1.6 million men, women, and children received HIV treatment in Nigeria. Over the years, more than 10 million people have received HIV counseling and testing services, not to mention the hundreds of healthcare workers and lab technicians who received training and mentorship necessary to attain these results. On the other hand, at the beginning of 21, we all hoped that we would see the end of the COVID-19 pandemic by this time. Instead, we continue to be locked in a battle with yet another variant that threatens both of our populations. At the U.S. Mission, we are so proud to have dozens of our staff working side by side with our Nigerian counterparts to monitor and respond to the pandemic. The strength of our support is reflected in the over $130 million we have contributed towards the COVID-19 health response. We have donated over 36 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine to date, of which 18 million have been delivered to Nigeria and the balance of 18 million will be shipped in the coming weeks. As the pandemic has shown us, in our interdependent world, no one is safe until everyone is safe. Through robust global dialogue and ingenuity, we will continue to build global health security in the new year together. There is no question that on a global scale, we were challenged in 2021, but here in Nigeria, I'm proud that our team rose to these challenges, made health and security a priority, and produced remarkable results. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that, for responding to that question.